Erin Spinagle here today at Burke Street Elementary. Join me today as we learn about some of the teachers here at the home of the Wildcats on this edition of Be the Difference, West Virginia. Um, I grew up in West Virginia, in Putnam County, a little bit south of here, and um, I went to WVU for my bachelor's and met my husband, and we married 17 years ago. We have two children, a 15-year-old and an 18-month-old, a big gap there. <laughs> so it's been fun and interesting, and um, I've taught kindergarten here at Brook Street for eight years. So what led you to become a teacher? I've always wanted to be a teacher. When I was a child, my mom was a teacher and she would always bring home extra papers or textbooks and I taught all the little children in the neighborhood. So I've kind of done it my entire life and I enjoyed helping her check papers and look at her students' work. So it just is something that I had to do. I just had to be a teacher. What do you enjoy most about teaching? The thing that I love the most is um, instilling a love for learning at an early, early age in kindergarten. If they can like school, love school, and just want to learn more and more, I think that's the most important thing I can do as a kindergarten teacher. Tell me about some of the things that you do to get your kindergartners excited about learning. Um, to get them excited about learning, I like to do projects where they're kind of in charge and they're making decisions. It brings out some higher level thinking and um, really produces some creative products from the class. Um, Right now I'm working on a web quest um, on, on Bald Eagles because our school views um, the, web, the website in Shepherdstown and Bell and um, Ben, the Bald Eagles. So we are um, getting ready to start that in February and there will be um, some design projects and there will be some journalistic projects. And so that's kind of what I like to do with kindergartners. So in kindergarten, they're learning a lot of new things for the very first time. Mm -hmm. What do you think are some of the most important things your students come away with by the end of the year in your classroom? Um, I think the most important thing that they come away with is knowing that school is a safe place where they can expand their minds, they can feel comfortable when thinking new things and learning new ideas and applying that to their everyday life and knowing that it's okay to think outside the box and to come up with creative things. Is there a favorite book or a favorite activity that you do with your students throughout the year that you just look forward to sharing with them? Um, yes, there is. Um, right now, it's Pete the Cat. <laughs> we're working on lots of Pete the Cat things. Um, one of the things we're getting ready to do is a reader's theater of Pete the Cat and for Groovy Buttons. The parents are coming in here in a couple days to see our performance. And um, that is just one character, one series of books that we really enjoy in kindergarten. You're a teacher and you also mentioned that you're a parent. Uh, as someone who fulfills both of those roles, how do you encourage your parents of your own students to be involved in learning in your classroom? Um, I like to invite the parents in. Um, this will be the first time that they've got to come in to see a Reader's Theater um, on Thursday. But I do like to send home projects for the children to work with on their parents and they receive what we have, um, what we call bonus coupons. And they can spend those bonus coupons at the small store. So it really, the child is really encouraging their parent to do it with them. It's a math project usually um, so that they can have money to spend at the small store. What's the misconception that you think the public may have about education or the teaching profession that you wish you could clear up? Well, often when someone asks me what I do for a living and I say I teach kindergarten, they're like, oh, you get to play all day. No, we do not play all day. Kindergarten is um, very involved. We're learning to read. We're learning to do addition and subtraction. There is a lot on their plates as little children, and I think that's a misconception that a lot of people have that it's just play and rest and snack. That's not what it's about at all. It's about learning and applying what they already know, which is why preschool is so important, to what they need to know then later in first grade also. So we're kind of a transition, but we are still very important in kindergarten. We're here with Karine Rintas Colon. She is the PLUS teacher here at Burke Street Elementary. PLUS stands for Foreign Language in the Elementary School. Hi, Karine, how are you? Hi, good, thank you. you? I'm good, well, thank you. So can you tell me a little bit about yourself? Yes, my name is Karine Rintas Colon. I'm from Ponce, Puerto Rico. 
I had two children, one is two years old and the other one is nine years old. I hold a bachelor degree in early childhood, kinder to third grade, and I also hold a master degree in elementary education, kinder to sixth grade. I started teaching in Puerto Rico seven years ago. I taught kinder, first, second, third grade, English, um, Title I, and I moved here to the United States five years ago. I started teaching in a Spanish immersion school as a kindergarten teacher. Then I moved here to West Virginia and I started working the new FLES program last year. I'm the, I teach right now kinder to fourth grade, Berg Street and Eagle School. And Eagle School. And FLES is a new program of the state. They, they start last year. And FLES means foreign languages in elementary school. And the program wants to develop the oral communication in Spanish to the students so they can communicate in a multicultural world. Why did you decide to become a teacher? Um, my experience in elementary school were really positive and I have a huge, and I play a huge part in who I am today. I decided to become a teacher because I want to be, a, make a positive difference in the future of the children. And also, I think that all my family there, <laughs> teachers, my dad, my uncle, my all my uncle, my aunts, most of the people in my family, our teachers, so they also, I, I, I learned a lot with them and I always working with paper with them and teaching in my family. I was tutoring also my friends in school. So I think that I was born for being a teacher. So what do you love most about teaching students Spanish, especially students that otherwise wouldn't have any other exposure to the language? I think that this position as a Spanish teacher is one of the most significant experience in my teaching career because when they start they don't know anywhere in Spanish and then you can see the growth of the students when they start like telling you words in Spanish then phrases then sentences and you know that they learn that from you because nobody else speaks Spanish at home or around them so that feels that that feels me very proud I'm also very proud of the hard work that the students are doing. Why do you feel that it's important for students to learn another language other than English? Learning another language has like a, it's a positive effect in the cognitive development of the students and a lot of studies show that as er earlier that the students start learning another language they can test better in the so I think that it's really important for also like for communicate with to communicate with another people around the world and in the future that will help that a lot to get better job and higher paid jobs. So tell me about some of the things that you do in your class to get your students excited or interested in the Spanish language. I like to be like different because I think that if the students get fun you're gonna learn better and they're gonna have a significant learning. So I like to sing, dance, use music, corporate movements, pictures, everything possible, puppets, everything possible that they get fun and also they are learning. So sometimes they think that they are playing but they are also learning and that helps a lot to the student to, to learn in a different way another language. Like to do activities in the school that engage all the community, the parents, like Hispanic Heritage Month, I made an activity where all the students have a passport and go classroom by classroom and visiting different countries. I Last year I made a Hispanic concert where all the community and parents were invited. It was the first spring Hispanic concert and I like to do a lot of activity with the students so they, they can understand the importance of learning another language. What's been the community or the, the family reaction to when the Spanish program was, was implemented here at Brook Street? It was a really positive reaction and we didn't expect too many people here and so it was, I was so proud of all the community and the students because when I made the concert, we have our cafeteria where we made the concert, it was full of people, we didn't more chairs, people were standing up so it was really good and they enjoy it, the students enjoy it, the parents enjoy it, everyone enjoy it, the teachers too. And I think that they have a really positive reaction for the program and I like that and they love it. And also the parents are always like telling me, oh my child, my child is talking Spanish and English. They are really excited about, I'm sorry, Spanish. They are really excited about Spanish and the community have a positive 
the education or the school system different in the United States compared to that of Puerto Rico? Elementary schools in Puerto Rico are really small and very poor comparing from here. We don't have a lot of materials like here. And also, all of the students have free breakfast and lunch, and the lunch is not the same like here. We don't have pizza, we don't have hamburgers, we don't have hot dogs. We have like a Creole style um, food like rice, beans, chicken stew, fish stew, beef stew. We have a uh, different food. Also, all the students use uniforms. We don't have, we don't use uniform here only like in private school, but all the the public school use uniforms. Middle school start at seventh grade, seventh grade to ninth grade. High school is tenth grade to twelfth grade. And uh, I think that the most important difference that we have from the school here in Puerto Rico is that we, by law, we take fifty minutes of English since pre-K and is something really important that is going to be evaluated in the test of the state, the state test. Mm -hmm. They're going to evaluate that, so it's part of our curriculum. What's one thing that you wish the public knew about what it's like to be a teacher? I think that we make the difference, so in our hands is the future of the society, and I, I think that we need to do our best so we can change the society and we can change the world and we are a really a really important part of the world right now if that we are doing a really positive a really positive um, example to the students so i think that's something really important to make make the difference that's all for this edition of be the difference west virginia join me next time as we learn more about the teachers here in beautiful berkeley county until then, I'm Erin Spinalbo, reminding you to be